is Tuesday, I believe August 24th, if I'm correct. Let me double check, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a couple of tickers. Let me, if I can slide this down. We're gonna go over Tesla, Upstart, Airbnb, uh, Peloton, Peloton, I mean by that. We'll get some others as well, but uh, let's go over Airbnb to start. I had a great day today, 10% up, real nice, you know? So the Chiku's about to pop out of the cloud. Uh, it's looking real nice. If it can get above this 162 range right here, get above there, we can start looking at 170 range. But uh, this should be definitely be a top watcher. I don't know why their stock ran up how it did, but uh, there was news that Airbnb is supposed to be housing 20,000 uh, Afghanistans. So <laughs> maybe that's the bullish news. I'm not, I'm not uh, too sure there. So I believe that's the only news that got released for this name today. Go over to Tesla stock, and uh, honestly, just don't even do anything if if I'm you. Just wait for a 715 break. Uh, that was today's high right here, pretty much where it's at. So get above that. We could be looking to do some upside up here in like the 740s, in my opinion. So hopefully we come and see this at 753 next, the next move. But uh, I don't really want to see it ever go below 688 right there. That'll be the last line of support. And it is looking like we could come down here to 697 and even this like 690, 689 that Chris was talking about. That's where I see this right here. So if we do go through 697, uh, buy puts and just scalp to 689. And you could probably maybe buy that for a bounce even right there. But uh, let's see what happens. So, oh, set an alert right here. We're on 696 area. And I'll be a watch for tomorrow. So that's our new range for tomorrow. 715 to 696 for Tesla. After that, we can look at Facebook. It was struggling today, but uh, I like where it's still at, kind of. So if you can at any point get above this breakout of, the, I guess, the 368 uh, buy calls. So I'll send an alert right here. It was pretty stubborn today, but we'll see what happens. And if you go below 363, expect to come down towards 359 area. But that's that. So let's go to Peloton. So I really like what I'm seeing here from Peloton. If we get above this 115.2 even, 115.5 uh, to make it safe. We get above this tomorrow uh it's a possibility we can maybe get a run even if we close above here maybe a good swing idea hopefully uh nam's watching this or anyone else in the chat they probably will be but it does look like it's ready for some more upside after a good six percent move today but expect some resistance towards 116.4 but if we can get above this cloud it'll be looking real nice next uh i can look at squared and let's see what it's doing so it's kind of right at support Yeah, don't even play this unless it gets over this part of the cloud right here. So 274 pretty much I'll go long on square, but uh, by all means, I wouldn't touch this stock for now. Go to Apple. Apple's okay as long as it holds 149.27 by puts below there. Looking at Alibaba, so Alibaba does have some resistance right here around 174, 175 ish. So uh, if we don't see it get above this, I really do expect to come see it down here at 163, 164 range. But uh, don't be surprised if it uh, bursts through. It really could, and go all the way up here to 180 with really ease. Uh, it could be a good lotto to end the week. But uh, watch out for this 174, 175 range here on Baba. And Baidu's next, and this one looks real pretty, if you ask me. Uh, let's keep it going. But if you can get above this area up here, even, this 170 range, uh, it seems like we can maybe go to 170 with ease. Hopefully this doesn't gap up tomorrow. It already meets it there. But if it gets above this 170, I'd be more interested in the stock. Might be able to make some higher moves, in my opinion, up here. 180. We're looking towards 200, 195 area. So... Honestly, as long as it holds 155 tomorrow and so on, this might be even a good swing in my opinion. We did see this total slide happen, but this is the recent right here in the past month. It looks quite ugly. So if we can get above this, I really can see us coming back up here towards 180s, 182 at least. But uh, holding along 155, this should at least see 168 range. After Baidu, we can just look at the overall market real quick, as you can see, pumping up. It's looking real good, so. 
nothing really to be worried about here unless uh, we do see some cells. As long as we are over this number, everything is in good hands. So 4430. Look at the Qs. May look good as well. We pumped up. Everything looks real good, but uh, we could see a fall down here. Maybe bounce towards 371 ish. We'll see what happens if we can break this 375 tomorrow. Uh, my bet is we continue to pump, but anything could happen. After that, uh, we could look at Nvidia. Let's see, it's right near support, around 215. If we look at AMD, AMD's right at support, but I wouldn't hold, uh, you wanna wait for this 113 breakout in my opinion. Go to AMC, look at this monster right here. Oof, big move. You can stay above this uh, 45, 44. It's in good hands, so see what happens with that. And then let's go to GME. Add a pump as well. I expect some resistance around 244 if it gets up there. But I wouldn't touch unless it does break around that 245 area. Could be a big breakout. Mm, I'm going to take a look at DraftKings. That's my last one. This one was looking real good to me. So if we can get this above 57.3 right here. Uh, yeah, we could definitely see a bigger move up here towards 63. I know Sal will love this, but uh, I could definitely see that move coming. It's been a long time. DraftKings right here, you can see. You can start making higher lows right here, and it looks like it's doing so. So let's see if we can get above this 58 area right here and make a way towards 62. And then lastly, I'm going to do TTD, sorry. But uh, right here, it's looking still really good. We have the 90 MA cross right here. We're still holding over this like 80 support. So, in all honesty, this could still run up right here at around 83.6 or 0.7. Above that, there's even further upside, in my opinion. We can go up here and test that 90. But uh, expect some resistance around here, around the 83.7 mark, 84 even. But uh, if it gets above that, it's looking real good. And regardless, this still looks good above 80. So, you could still take calls here for a three-point move, or you can wait for this breakout, or to see if it fails, and you can buy puts here. But... That's your move. TTD does look really good. Overall market looks good in my opinion. Tesla uh, faded off at the end of the day today, which is fine. As long as it can hold the 697 area, we should be good to bounce up. But I don't even wanna see us go that low. I really hope we can uh, push above 715 relatively quick and stay over around 705 area. So let's see what happens with that. And uh, let's get ready to trade tomorrow. So.